That's the Dull Heads with Before Friday. You're listening to Rock Avenue at 91.5 KUNV. I'm your host, JC. And uh, I do have wonderful Joshua Court right here from uh, Room 6, which is pretty awesome. Hey, hey, welcome to Room 6. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> I don't know why we're shaking on an audio we're podcast. We're shaking, uh, uh, shaking hands on an audio podcast. Too. With our left hand. I know, it's kind of awkward. It's backwards. We're, um, we're professionals. Well, it's different. You know, you, you think we are. Uh, so, Josh does a really cool... TV, TV show, podcast, YouTube thing that's really awesome. He helps pretty much not only local but bands that tour. Room six, and it's fantastic. Like I've been, I've had the chance to be on it. Uh, actually, it's been about what a year and a half, I guess now. Maybe no, I think it's only like six months. But anyway, okay. Either way, it just seems like forever. It seems like forever. Yeah, Calling, never right. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but it's it, he does a lot of good things for the music scene. Uh, pretty much every, at least you've tried to cover every venue you possibly can. Every band you possibly can, any artist you possibly can. Yeah, I mean, it, well, it's uh, it's a hobby that is taking a lot of time and effort. And I have a very understanding wife and kid. Yeah, I, I imagine because they're like, why are they have more people at the house again? No, it's more like we would like to see you for dinner occasionally. Oh, what's dinner? <laughs> yeah, um, <clears throat> like tonight. Yeah, I had dinner at. Um, at a sub place before I got here. Sorry, wife. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> but it's because there's so much in the scene that that needs to be rec- you know uh, uh, highlighted and recognized, and there's just nobody doing it. And, and I'm not saying like it's all on me. I'm saying that, that I currently have you know a corner of the market right <laughs> on YouTube basically, but it's also just. I, I don't have to tell you, you get an idea, like, oh, well, that would be a cool thing, and no one else is doing it, and I apparently have free time. <laughs> if you have all the free time, then might as well do it. I mean, I've seen, you've seen, well, what what number did you finally hit on the show? You're at 100 and... What? How many how many episodes have you had Oh, oh, uh, uh, counting what is going to post by the end of the month, uh-huh. 125. Oh, wow. Yeah, in three and a half years, and that's just the interviews. It's 225-ish for the, all the reviews, and that includes whiskey reviews, venue reviews, reviews of people's music, reviews of live shows. And I didn't expect the reviews to be such a thing. Sometimes they are, though. It's weird. Like we've, like yeah. I said, we on my on my other old podcast, we were talking off the air, and it's like some of my weird reviews of movies or whatever. And I'm like, that's the one that blew up. That's the one that got big. Like, oh yeah, you know, you'll be surprised. Like, oh, it was well, a weird review of what? Oh, someone's toilet, but it got huge. I don't know why. Right. How like, many musicians have you heard say like that was the hit single, and we all hated that song? Yeah, yeah. I've I, I I've surprisingly the the one that got them big or whatever, and they're like, oh, but you know, they still show up and they play it. And they're like, I, I, you, there, there's times the ones that still enjoy their single, mm-hmm. like I wouldn't be rich without you, or exactly. wouldn't have a tour without you, or whatever. But then you have the ones that are like, uh, I mean, I, I, how many really times, I, I get it. How many times can you play Mbop? You know? <laughs> you, know? you know what's funny, though? That band had some of the coolest music afterwards. Yeah, no, Hanson, like older Hanson, is... Their rock and blue stuff was great. Uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed their older stuff. Their older <laughs> stuff, God. Uh, we know when they were 25. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is funny. Oh, like, it hurts, it burns. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, I know you. Just, the band I just played on the air, the Dollheads, you had on your show actually That's right. uh, a few weeks back. Yeah. One, think of, where were you at 15, 14 years old? Going to punk shows. Right. Yeah. You weren't like that type of a you know, that type of an act. Not to mention not you, well. Siblings. I, at fourteen, no. Fifteen, I was touring. Oh well, then I'll shut up. So fifteen, I was touring, and then sixteen, seventeen, whatever. Yeah. I was already doing that too. So it's like. I kind of did that until I was in my early 20s. I came to a lot of things late in life. Right. Uh, and, and part of that is just the way I, I was brought up and, and focusing on things that really didn't matter and focusing on things that I was told did matter but aren't part of my life anymore. I'm 50 now. But I remember I, I didn't really make a go of writing songs until I went to college. See, and the, see, I know a lot of people that have actually started later in that, yeah. you know. And so I'm I'm 42 going on 96, so it's I yeah. think it's just that's how it works. Oh, my knees, my knees sometimes feel. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I know all of us get up and do that. You wake up and you know you're like, oh, what was that? You're not sure what popped. That's the weirdest thing ever. Uh, we're gonna take a quick little break. We'll be back with uh, Josh Court right in room six.
This just in, you can show your support for Room 6 by going to room6.shop after this video. We have tons of merch, including discounted cold weather merch and more. Whatever you need to show your support for local music and Room 6 is there, from shirts to hoodies to mugs to posters to stickers. Whether showing off that you're a patron on our Patreon page with our Two Brains One Bottle shirt, or reminding people to just be amazing, room6.shop has what you need to be a friend of the channel. Thanks for supporting Room 6. Back in the air with uh, Joshua Corr right here from Room Six and uh, Mr. Room Six himself. Way. Yeah, that. yeah. The uh, uh, how how has it been spelled wrong or oh, pronounced people wrong? Put me up. This is old people talk. Uh, people put me on the Ponderosa all the time. Cartwright. Cartwright. Yeah. No, jeez. It's all right. I I mean, mine's Coots. Coots. But it's how I get Coots or Curtis. And they go, there's not even an R in it, but and and there's no I. So I, I okay. once had somebody call me Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> I have a story about that. I legally had my name changed back to Josh, mm -hmm. and then I went back to get, you know, I literally had to go re update my license, right, and right. I had it on, Josh is my other license forever, and because uh, my, I had to bring in a birth certificate to get the change, I moved as I changed address and stuff, and they're like, well, this says this, and I said, yeah, but I changed it, and like, on my social and everything else, it says Josh, and they're like, yeah, but your birth certificate does it, and I'm like, they didn't give a damn last time, and they're like, too bad, sorry, so I'm back to Joshua. And I'm like, I nothing else says Joshua. I legally had it changed to Josh right. 25 years ago. And, but 99% of the time, it's not going to be a problem, but it's that 1%. Right, but that one person would be like, well, this is Joshua, this is Josh. I right. said, cool, but everything, you know, it's, it's a yeah. like DMV. You guys suck. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so, you I know. I don't want their job, though. I know. Uh, what do uh, you got coming up? What do you have coming up for... Well, uh, aside from, of course, more reviews, more interviews, um, and uh, Room 6 Radio uh, episodes now, uh, I apparently have too much time on my hands, <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, I'm in the process, I'm trying to uh, secure sponsoring at, for uh, the, the Room 6 Rocks Spring Showcase I'm hoping to put on, don't have any dates, don't have anybody lined up yet for it, uh, so that's all nebulous, and that's a hopeful thing, keep, you know, Watch this space. Keep keep your ears peeled. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll make an announcement about it. But other than that, I am just trying to be consistent. Um, you know when you see like those old timer weightlifter guys that are just still they're seventy years old, still benching more than you weigh, and all that. They just never stopped, and I'm yeah, trying it, to be. It it, it, it 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 trust me that baffles me still. I'm like dude. Yeah, I used to lift a car. You, you just, they just never stopped. Yeah, it's insane. And I am trying to be that three and a half years down the road. Every week, I, at least once, I deal with imposter syndrome. Every week, at least once, I ask myself, why am I bothering? And every week, at least once, I'm being told, this is, you know, thank you so much. This is awesome. This is a good thing you're doing. And all that aside, I'm just trying to be consistent because if I'm not consistent, I have a heck of a lot of gear to sell. Yeah, no, yeah. like at that point you're like, well, I've got enough stuff to, okay, yeah. well, I mean, legit, you can start an actual, like, we can, you have enough to record movies and actually film movies now. Just about, so, my um, um, camera number one over there, uh, I'm also filming this, uh, hopefully, to make a YouTube video of my time here on, on the channel. Thank you for having me, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, camera number one literally shoots at 8K. Yeah. Oh, wow. It just takes literally an hour for about 10 seconds to up it, it go into my computer right. and then then it has to go into the editing program and then i have to save it when i'm done 27 hours later yeah it, I'm, I'm, i did one i walked across the front of the stage at taverna costera filming a band and i looked at it, i was like nice i showed it to my wife and i got home she said, it looks like a music video i was like i know put it in the computer and an hour later i had a clip sweet that's awesome and then I had to put it into the editing program <laughs> it was just like oh my gosh it's so huge yeah that's going to take another 12 hours that's right awesome. but um, that being said there's this little part of me that really wants to do get into like visual effects and making you know shorts and make do that kind of thing but it's like when you know when would I find the time I mean I think if you possibly decided to do it I will be the first. Per I would love to be the first person to die in any of your movies. Hey, nice. I no, want to no, 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 no. be those. I want to be those guys. You'd be the hero, my man. Sweet. I'm okay with that too. You know what your weapon would be? What? Two tone Scott shoe. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take my checkered shoes all day. That's right. The uh, uh, you know, I, I I have like I said, I've been on the show. It's a great show. Uh, not only do you support the local music scene, 
but you have supported the music scene in general. You, I think you are a staple in this town. Thank you. And I think that if people need to uh, go enjoy some good, one good content and entertaining, uh, just entertaining things to watch and get to see new bands they haven't seen, everything from metal to pop to whatever. And uh, you, you've had so much stuff on there. There's a hundred, how many, how many, hundred and... About 125. 125 uh, episodes, the the plus there's reviews of whiskey and reviews of venues. Right. So if you haven't checked out a venue or tried some whiskey or whatever, go to the channel, check out Room 6. It's a fantastic thing. Where can they see all your, uh, where are all your socials at? Uh, well, like I said before, the ideal way is to go to room6.shop. That's room, the number six, dot shop. And uh, that way, not only will you see like the merch I have to offer, but he does have. Off- I am actually wearing one of the hats right he now. He is. It's and actually... I forgot that he had bought that. <laughs> he he went on the cha- he went on the, the site. He bought it himself. I didn't like have to twist his arm or anything. No, I was like, this is a cool hat. Yeah. I've actually worn it to multiple gigs. I'm like, that's a rad hat. And I'm like, yeah, you should check out the channel. You know who else has one? R R J Moon. Yeah. Yep. And uh, he he actually has two beanies. Oh, sweet. Because he he when they went on tour up north. And he's like. Can I get that, you know, any chance I can get the beanie delivered sooner because we're going to the north? And uh, I was like, you know what? I'll deliver it for you, buddy. Here you go. And uh, I, that made me proud that somebody wanted it that badly. But uh, go to the room6.shop. You'll see all of my socials there with the exception of Room 6 Radio because it's a new thing. Uh, for that, you just go... Actually, any of my YouTube videos that are um, for 2023... In the description, we'll have all the ways you can check out my own podcast, Room 6 Radio. Uh, other than that, just go to YouTube or Google or your you know preferred search engine and go at Room 6 LV. Uh, there's a horror movie I didn't know about when I named it Room 6 called Room 6. It always pops up first. So Yep. yep. And so actually put at Room 6 LV. LV. If you don't put the Las Vegas, the LV itself, yep. you get that... The funny part, they also made a porn about that, too. So you have porn on Lovely. Room 6. There you I go. didn't know that. But yeah. they also, if you put room, space it out and say, room 6 LV, you get motel room prices in, or hotel room prices for Vegas. There you go. But what I did, I am proud to say, if you Google room 6 reviews, my stuff comes up. Wow, that's it. See, that's that's interesting. That's, that's actually a, pretty cool, though. Yeah, so um, that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm working on the, the room 6 interviews to come up. That's, come on, SEO. Come on, you know. Yeah, algorithm. that's... Well, maybe, you know, maybe this will skyrocket you, skyrocket, uh, skyrocket you yeah. to skyrocket, <laughs> yeah, skyrocket you to be, you know, huge, you're going to blow up right now. You just hit like 10 million subscribers, watch. Oh, buddy, I quit Zing! my job. No, I, wouldn't quit, <laughs> I wouldn't quit my job, not in this economy. If you had, if you all of a sudden hit 10 million, you wouldn't have to work anymore because, it, you know, you'd have to, you're, you might get views. I, there, I would be like, um, I think, honey, at, I'm going on a shopping spree. <laughs> well, at that point, wife would be like, you can do whatever you want because much, now yeah. money's coming in, so. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, benefits what? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, but seriously, if you get a moment, go follow Room Six Thank LV. You so much. Uh, go to the YouTube. Go to the go follow the socials. Check them all out. Uh, it's I actually follow everything. It's actually pretty solid. I even follow you on Twitter. That's funny. Thanks. I haven't been on Twitter. I know. Like, I haven't posted anything just because. Okay, a little behind the scenes. A lot of my stuff. I finally got to the point where I'm one of those YouTubers that I schedule stuff to be posted and I schedule a promotion a lot right ahead of time every time I would post schedule stuff to Twitter it would fail yeah I, I have to physically post and, everything and not only would it fail it wouldn't say try again yeah it would just say delete yep and and, so I, you physically have to I so I would everything would go off fine my yep. Instagram my Facebook whatever go beep 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 beep, beep. and then Twitter you have to go after the copy. third time I was like I, I'm not I, even getting anything out of it out of, out of Twitter see, I, I Surprising, surprisingly, I find up like I've had people go, "Well, I've heard about you from Twitter." I go, really? No one's even yeah, right. liked my thingy or whatever. Well, and it's like, and they go, "Well, I found it through Twitter." I'm like, I'm gonna keep it then. Some random uh, person found out my show because of Twitter. I'm, if it's, if I get one more follower or one yeah, more listener, it only takes I'm, one. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep my Twitter. All right, maybe I'll get back on. Maybe it. I'll do see. It. And now your Twitter just got huge. Yeah, but see, <laughs> that was pre Elon, right? <laughs> and now that when, and once Elon started, I was like, well, now I'm definitely staying off Twitter. Yeah, I don't want to be depressed. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of a pain, but the surprise of it's actually funny watching people trolling right. a lot. That's actually I think interesting. what what did it for me. What what kind of made, uh, uh, swayed me away from that is that I already have to manually. Uh, promote to about 20 Facebook groups. Yeah. Depending on the genre, sometimes less, sometimes more. And so I was like, Twitter's it's just one more thing. 
But it is only one more thing. Yeah, but at the same, yeah, it's, it's trust me, it's, I, I think I'll click here. So, hey, hey, yeah. hey. It's when you're doing it that way and you're sharing the 27 different things and it's like, okay. You know, but every time I do a show or a festival or, you know, when we put on a Rock Avenue Presents, yeah. I, I always say, well, I have to share to 400 spaces anyway, so I might as well, what's one more thing I got to share it to? Right. And it, like I said, if one person came out to my event because of that or one person tunes into this radio show or one person because I shared m your information on my page goes, oh, I went there because of you, then hell, yeah. you know, you might as well take You know what? Actually, I do have one something coming up that I should talk about. Yeah, please. Uh, next Sunday, the 15th. If you want to come say hi, I will be at Soul Belly Barbecue, live streaming, and also Soul doing a review. Barbecue. Yeah. So good. Yeah. It's expensive, but it's really worth it. Yeah. Uh, I'll be at Soul Belly Barbecue on Main Street in downtown Las Vegas' Arts District, where uh, the songwriter showcase that House of Our, you know, puts on. I will be live streaming it, and I will also be uh, doing a review of it, so I'll be getting my photos and videos and writing up notes and things. And if... If you are in the neighborhood, you, you really should swing by just to say hi and see some amazing local songwriter talent. Um, and if you want to be on it, you can, you know, there's ways to find House of R. It's literally at his name, yeah. at House of R. But um, it's also a good way to see kind of a, a, a pretty decent live show that isn't in a casino, isn't in a bar. It's at a barbecue place. Yeah, it's actually quite interesting watching good shows vibe. and watching stuff while you're grabbing down on some Q. Yeah. You know, but it's uh, it's a solid spot, and and it usually has good tunes there, yeah. which is pretty solid. So, uh, also, if, you, if you're if you a band and want to uh, reach out to Josh at, uh, at Room 6. Go to, go to you know, my YouTube channel uh, and really look at any video in the description. There is an email address. It's room6lv at gmail.com. That's all spelled out, room6lv, because... Someone took room six, <laughs> yeah. And um, or there's a there's a room six social media link which has all, of, basically pretty much all my social media as well as ways you can support the channel. Um, or you should, you can you should do that. Keep it going. Help keep the local scene going. If you do right. that, no joke. That's how we all do our things. Yeah. It like he shared this my little radio show on his show a couple weeks ago. And I was like, dude, seriously, like that makes me happy. Like if we all don't work together, no one hears about our stuff. Yeah. And if we don't all support each other. No one hears about our stuff. No joke. I can't do this show without you guys, the fans that tune in every week and sharing. People have gone on my socials and actually shared the flyers and shared this and that. I'm like, no one would know about this if it wasn't for you guys. Like, the fans is what make this happen. Like, we only do this stuff for the fans. Like, yeah. you know, it's not for me. Like, don't get wrong. It's therapeutic for me to come on here and rock out for you. But I really wouldn't have people. Like, if I didn't have people, you know, I'm, same thing. Like, I get excited that you've shared my stuff. And I get, I'm get i like, dude, that's the coolest thing ever to do. So when people do that support, that's huge. That's what this community needs. So, like I said, please go short su support Room 6 and everything he does. Thank you. Go watch the YouTubes. Go share them. Bands, if you want to do it, hit him up. Be on his show. It's fantastic. I've had a great time. It's always a fun thing. And you can. it's a way to get your stuff out. Like, hey, it was on a TV show. Especially your first time or last time. It doesn't matter. Get your show on. Go go hit up Josh. It's fantastic. Like I do have to clarify, it's not a TV show. It's just a YouTube channel. TV, YouTube, it's, same thing. Because it well, if it was a TV show, you have cameras. If it was a TV show, there'd be commercials paying my bills. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> if it was this a TV true. show, I'd be guaranteed at least a certain amount. No, um, I, I I've had some people post like, "Hey, I'm going on a TV show," and I'm like, "No, nah, it's it's you. It's, manage your expectations." I tell everyone, I go, "Look, can you can you share it to your TV now with your phone?" They're like, "Yeah, I go. It's a TV show then." Okay, so it's, it's a YouTube TV show. No, okay. no, okay. I, I when you say it like that, that's true. There you go. I get share to my TV. You're technically on the TV. You're Who a TV, TV show. Anymore? I do. I do too. But no. Okay, see, but we're old. So there you go. Yeah. All right. One more time, yeah. where really they can reach you and uh, your your all your. Uh, Room6.shop. That's you your room six best said. Dot shop. Go check it out. Go support. Go follow all the socials. Go follow all the stuff. Buy some shirts. Buy some hats. Buy some merch. And uh, support local, you know, what what this wonderful man is doing for the local scene and music scene in general. It's awesome, everything he does. Seriously, go check it out. And uh, I, will, I would love to have you on the show again if you love to Definitely. Come awesome. Right. I will be bringing Joshua back on because he's a fantastic, fantastic human. And uh, like I said, <laughs> go support Room6. It's a great show. Uh, I'm going to be back, and uh, here's the Cranberries with Salvation. 
I want to thank Josh Coots for having me on Rock Avenue, his amazing radio show on KUNV 91.5 FM. Uh, honestly, you're, he's an awesome interviewer, and if you get the chance to go on, you should take it. In the meantime, thanks everybody who's on that list over there. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and click above. If you want to subscribe, click on the R6 logo. And if you want to hear some music from me, click on that weird sun-colored Eye of Sauron thing. In the meantime, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.